give it much more meaning than it should have. We're here for one mission. And that mission is to understand what soul is, which is what we are. And when you do that, there's no reason to stay here. Well, I'd like to introduce Tommy Stubbs and the original uh, book that uh, I had my, uh, I guess, channeling of the nine and Thoth and Trismegistus, and he had his and the Michael teachings. And I don't, it says he's 73, but I had heard he died a long time ago from his, uh, oh, one of the women, uh, car, a friend of mine, Carolyn Flowers of Colorado, that helped uh, promote his book and helped him uh, well publish it. And uh, and then she started working with Dr. Michael Sala. Michael, uh, it was Michael, uh, Michael's teachings, 85. So uh, he was studying Michael's Education Foundation and the J.P. Van Hull Life Test, Planetary Information Flow. Now, folks, I just need to have you understand that not only did I have curiosity about the mysterious mind, but channeling and related materials, but I was interested in all of the metaphysics as a student. Tommy, are you walking or what are you doing, darling? I'm walking. I got to walk today. I told you I had my partner singing. Oh, so you are walking. Okay. Well, folks, just so you know, he's walking. moving so he can talk because it aggravates his Buddhist partner <laughs> doing UFO space and radio, huh? And ascension work. Yeah. Now, Tommy, well. I do appreciate it, but I need you to understand as well as everybody that's going to be in the UAP associates that the psychic people do have gifts just like you do in empaths, such as your Buddhist Bodhisattva partner because empaths can feel a lot, and a lot of people don't believe in the indigo children, but the indigo children that was also started from a psychic that wrote about it, about children coming in as empaths, and then Dolores Cannon. But we have a whole movement that's been a part of these UFO groups that I've investigated and researched to see how, and I've got the threads through Carla in Kentucky and David Wilcock that lived with her. So these channels, including the one Ashiana Dean, was that her name? The Ashiana Dean. was a, uh, Hayes, well, I forgot that was, She was on well, Carrie Cassidy, folks, so you can look her up. Right. Carrie well, Cassidy follows her teaching. She has her own thirty one. She has her own site. She has her own site. Okay. But if you try Anna Hayes and UFOs, it'll pull her up, and then you can pull up her site. Okay, I've never met her. She looks like a very sweet lady. Is she younger than me, Tommy? Was she your age or younger than you? Well, I think she's a little younger than me. I mean, I met her many years ago. I met her, what, about 30 years ago. She was pretty young then. I mean, she's 30 years older now. Well, Tommy has been a mainstay and an anchor, folks, in the metaphysical world. And uh, he's been a metaphysician and did a lot of study in and out of body. He knows a lot about what I talk about out of death, near death, much more than most medical physicians have talked to me about because I'm surprised through the years how much the medical system, as much as we need it, and it's a part of who we are, uh, just like economics and religions (laughs) and traditions, Uh, But metaphysics, ontology is what I'm speaking about. And the UFO Association is very much a part of that. But so is the Ascension Center, which is the Ascension Center organization I began, and the ACE Metaphysics in that uh, psychic network. And we're bringing it back and pulling it all back around so I can have those that were not in the government prior to 1985 understand that during the it was after the eisenhower i was born and tommy was born so uh truman i think tommy was born in 1952 right tommy right truman was truman was president in 49 
Was he was he your president though when you were born? Because I no no I, he was born he was president in forty nine. Truman became uh, Eisenhower became president I think in fifty one. All right. Well, Truman was still president. I was born December twenty sixth, nineteen fifty one. So he must have been the president when I was born. And then Eisenhower came in. Well, I can look that up right here on Google. I guess. Well, I, I can, can tell you, Eisenhower came in later. Truman created Majestic 12, not Eisenhower. Let's see, Majestic 12. Well, Dwight well, Eisenhower, by uh, born October 14, 1890 in Denison, Texas. So he was a real Texan. He died well, March 28, 1969, Washington, D.C. He, he, was, he was president from January 20th, 1953. Until January twentieth, nineteen sixty one, his vice president was Richard Richard Nixon, nineteen fifty three to nineteen sixty one. Okay, so Truman was our president. So that means, folks, it just means who was the president when you're made in the USA? Like Tommy and I are called made in the USA. We are our persons. Our persons were made here, biological, because we talk about. Uh, other than biological now due to AI and robots, and I'm a cyborg, and so is Tommy. Tommy and I are what's called cyborgs, but we were born uh, whole biologicals under Harry S. Truman, 33rd president of the United States. Harry S. Truman was the 33rd president of the United States from 1945 to 1953. He was succeeded upon the death of Franklin D. Roosevelt after serving as the 34th vice president. He implemented the Marshall Plan to rebuild the economy of Western Europe and established the dream of doctrine in NATO. He was born May 8, 1884 in Lamar, Missouri, and he died, oh, on my birthday, December 26. 1972 in Kansas City, Missouri. I remember that was a really tough day for me. I finally got to go to his place in his in Kansas City. But presidential term April 12th, 1945 until January 20th, 1953, and he was a Democrat at that time, Democratic Party. Now, uh, Tommy, uh, we can talk about Stan T. Friedman, which is like the Godfather of the UFO Association because he helped me start it back in the day in 2006 with Tom, my husband. But uh, now 1957, is that when we're we're talking about when uh, Hayes came to talk to Dwight D. Eisenhower? You've recently had a radio show with uh, Laura Eisenhower, who claims to be a one of the granddaughters, although he didn't really she didn't really know him. Now he was president. 1953 to 1961. Now, let me look up the the channeling starts with Valiant Thor when he flies in in 1957. So we have Ace Folk Life or the UFO folklore. We call it ACO UFO folklore. But let me look up uh, Valiant Thor because he becomes a mainstay in the government because of the chaplain in the Pentagon. Now, Valiant Thor... Uh, his book is a real How to Live Longer, The Stranger at the Pentagon. But let me see. It's the one the one that I want to make sure in our history books. It was The Chaplain at the Pentagon. Strangers was his name. Valiant Thor Alien Research in fandom, but it was Aliens. Valiant Thor at the Pentagon, prisoner. Listen to audio books by Valiant Thor. Now, uh, there's going to be a lot of impostors. And there's a rock band named Valiant Thor. So let's see if I can get the data. Is there no data? Data? I don't know. Well, Do y'all say data? There's probably not data? much on him because they brought him into the White House for two years, I think. And then, then he disappeared, or I should say he left. Uh, but the actual facts about that, I don't think there's too many people that can talk about that. Well, what happened to Frank Strange's The Stranger at the Pentagon revised? Let me look. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't have a picture of him, but he'll probably be in the National Archives, folks. We have Made in the USA, we have National Archives, but Stranger at the Pentagon was written, uh, was revised. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. 
Looks like it got lost for a while, maybe, but Stranger at the Pentagon by, it was Chaplain Frank E. Stranges, S-T-R-A-N-G-E-S. Isn't that an odd thing that his name would be Stranges? I wonder if that's his real name. Dr. Frank Stranges was born and educated in Brooklyn, New York. In Brooklyn, New York. Excuse me? What, Tommy? Uh, I didn't say anything. Okay, he received his Bachelor's of Divinity as well as his Ph.D. in Psychology and Philosophy from Faith Theological Seminary in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, down here, Florida, where I am. And I'm in the Panhandle, though, folks, in Gulf Breeze, (laughs) near Mobile, in Pensacola. Dr. Stranges was a member of the Mayor's Advisory Council of Los Angeles and a member of the American Association for Social Psychology. He also held a Ph.D. from the National Institute of Criminology in Washington, D.C., and was accredited diplomat of the American Academy of Professional Arts. Just so you know, that doesn't sound like somebody that would be uh, talking about in the Pentagon, okay? So he, Dr. Stranges authored books of scientific and religious subjects, including his classic, the Stranger at the Pentagon, which tells the unusual story of a spaceman named Valiant Thor. Because Thor was a real person who appeared in a public or in public on a few occasions, included the United Nations headquarters in New York City. The legend of the Stranger at the Pentagon has grown before a real head scratcher 21st century UFO researchers. Today, it's still one of the hottest topics in ufology and has spawned various other books, documentaries, and Hollywood featured films. Now, besides him, (laughs) that's The Stranger at the Pentagon. We're going to start with that book and work forward December 15th, 2001 by Edward Stranges, Dr. Harler A. Bird introduction. I don't know who gets that, who has his estate, but he's no longer alive from what I can see. Not a lot on him. Uh, Anyway, uh, now what about, uh, we can go from the stranger at the Pentagon, we can go back, folks, anything prior to 1957 with the UFO Association, we're going to rely a lot on Jan Aldrich, one of our director members, because Dr. Bruce Maccabee, due to an illness, according to Jan Maccabee, they still want to be in our UFO Association. Of course, they're grandfathered in, just like Stanton T. Friedman and George Filer because uh, they asked me to back in the day. So we won't forget them or Don Berliner or Jan Aldrich and uh, Green. What is that gentleman that came on? I wish he'd come on more. Uh, I think uh, Jan said he made him shy away a little bit from Facebook. Jan's been doing radio shows and Facebook, social media, but I can't. It's Brian Green something. Anyway, folks, there's so many people out there, I can't remember them all. That's why we're going to do a who's who directory and link some, put up their links. If you have a domain name and a link, let us know uh, who you are. Uh, We're going to charge you $2 a month. Uh, You can go to patreon.com forward slash Teresa J. Morris and just list a dollar or $2 if you want, nothing but a link in our stuff, and we'll be glad to provide a link as long as you're we can verify and bona fide uh because just uh well it's five eighty nine or roughly six dollars a month uh to get on uh, MUFON and get there but we're just starting with the people just to refer as a clearing house and a holding company under American Communications Online. Now, there's books uh, by Stan T. Friedman and Kathy Martin. I'll be more than happy to promote. I've got to get our uh, links up to Amazon and give uh, the richest man in the world more money. Keep our world uh, going in space with all our books. He was a smart man. Lived in a little small house and drove a car and looked average normal. Boy, was I fooled. Everybody was. Now he's running the world. He he was really smart. So we can do that too, folks. But we're going to just collect a minimum dues to link your domain. <laughs> and uh, we'll put out data on our radio shows and hopefully a newsletter for those that 
our members that want to hear from us. So we invite you to our various shows.